Hey guys, this is Just Incredible and welcome to Pro Wrestling 101. I am honored tonight to be with the one and only TNA superstar, Petey Williams. Petey, kind of give me the perspective from your opinion on what these young men and women in our business coming up can do to to carve a niche because you know as you know it dude it's it's really hard in our business especially on the indie scene as i'm in it today in the trenches to get over and to get you know respected and to 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 find your niche uh what do you you know in your mind's eye you know perceive and how to help these kids get up well i believe i was trained by one of the well everybody thinks they're trained by one of the best yeah, trainers of but i believe i really was trained by one of the best trainers scott demore i remember i went to scott demore school he says, uh, he was talking to me on the phone, he says, how tall are you? And I said, 5'7". He goes, how much do you weigh? At the time, I weighed like 155 pounds. He's like, well, you're going to have to put on some weight, right? So he didn't think much of me. And then, you know, he started seeing my talent and stuff like that. And always, always, always to the young people out there, listen to your mentor and listen to the people trying to give you advice. All right? I remember Scott, he was like, listen, okay, we're going to make you a pro wrestler. You're going to be wrestling here, doing the indie scene but finish your education first because he knew I was in school and he wasn't going to do anything with TNA. TNA was like the up and coming sure. thing. He wasn't going to do anything with that until I was done school. When I was done school, he says, all right, kid, work hard, make a name for yourself, go to towns, work for 20 bucks, you know, right. Ian Rotten, IWA, Mid-South, yeah. Chicago, everything, all that kind of stuff. And as he saw I was doing that and I had the passion for the business, then he was like, all right, kid, we're going to give you a shot in TNA. Right. And the rest is history. So just always, always listen to people. I remember... Bubba Ray Dudley, yeah. <laughs> he saw my move for the first time on TNA, and he goes, listen, kid, he's like, you do this. You know, he was giving me advice. He said, sure. you, you do too much of this and too much of this. You just need to do that move and focus your whole match around that move, and I've done it ever right. since that time. And sure enough, I mean, if people know me from one thing, it's that move, the Canadian Destroyer. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. I, I know Scott very well. Uh, I started out at the same time as Scott, um, you know, in 92, 93, in that, in that time frame. And Scott's, you know, a good friend and very smart guy. And uh, it's so true. It, it's just so hard to differentiate yourself. To kind of close out, um, for today's, uh, you know, for guys, you know, like you who are tremendously talented, you have all the, the intangibles. No, seriously. I mean, dude, it is what it is. You have a job. You're a very talented guy. And you have all the intangibles. What do you think for young men and women who are trying to break through? What you know, in a, pr real quick, what do you think they need to do to, or to focus on to break through to that possible next level? Next level? Yeah. Okay. This is what I tell with anybody, all walks of life. It doesn't matter what you're trying to do, whether you're trying to become an engineer or, or a professional hockey player or a professional wrestler. That light at the end of the tunnel. That's got to be your focus. You know, you got to be hitting the gym. You got to be training hard. You have to say, oh, you know, I'm not going to take today off. You know, you need to stay focused on that light, whatever it is. And, and to that, it was it was the big time, like, you know, the TNA and Absolutely. stuff. And I never lost sight of that. So don't think just because you aren't making it happen each day, you know, piles up on the next one and you will eventually make it happen. You just have to stick with it. He's absolutely right, ladies and gentlemen. It's called determination, perseverance. You're hearing it from one of the best. I'm just incredible. This is P.D. Williams, and you're watching Pro Wrestling 101. Sorry, I'm just a bit emotional. Big night, House of Hardcore. Me, Lance Storm, X-Pac, Terry Funk, Tommy Dreamer. I'm a little choked up. Sorry. You're listening to one of the best. See you next week.